everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be a home tour. Um, I'm going to take you around and show you where we actually live. You've probably seen these in previous videos that I've done for cleaning and things like that. Um, but I thought I'd give you a, a proper tour. And you have to excuse the noise if you can hear any noise in the background. I'm actually filming this in the kitchen and the kids are in Amelia's room playing. So they're, I don't know what they're doing in her room, but they're having fun anyway. They're playing together. And this is literally a real life home tour. So you will see as we go around that not everything is absolutely perfect. I did try to have a tidy up and a bit of a clean up before I did this, but unfortunately with two young kids in the house, not everything is going to go according to plan and stay absolutely immaculate. So it's a lived in house. It's got two kids in it. So it's to be expected, I guess. It's not absolutely Instagram perfect. You'll also see that there are a few bits that you'll probably think to yourself, hmm, that needs painting, that needs doing, or that looks, looks like it needs neatening up. Yes, obviously it's a work in progress. There's still a lot of things to do on our to-do list, even things outside which need doing. Um, things like the brick walls need redoing. It's just mo mainly cosmetic things. The majority of it's been done now. So yeah, you'll, you'll see that as you go around. But as I say, it is a work in progress. With two young kids in the house, it's not always easy to get stuff done when you want it to be done. And obviously, financially, it's not always easy just to get stuff done uh, all at once. It is uh, a smallish home. It's a single unit mobile home. It's not one of the double ones and you can get bigger ones, but we live in one of the smaller ones because this was actually my dad's place before we moved in here. So um, yeah, it obviously did just for one person. It, it's just about manageable for four people, I, me and Neil and the two kids. But hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to build an extension on so that we'll have an extra bedroom. So effectively it will be three bedrooms it'll be two bigger bedrooms and a, a very small room so we'll see how we go that probably won't be for a couple of years or so yet so that's a long way off but um for now it's livable it it will do for now while the kids are certainly still young i will try and list uh the main things in the description box below um things like paint colors i'm bound sure to miss off a lot of things <laughs> But if there is anything that you see that you want to ask a question about, you want to know what it is, then please, by all means, leave a, a, a question in the comments section below. So here we go. I'm going to take you around our little mobile home. Hope you enjoy. So continuing the overview outside, that's the kids' playhouse there with their kitchen in it. And up there is the decking from the living room. Neil actually made that himself. In fact, there was a lot of things that Neil made himself in this place, pretty much everything actually. He really is a jack of all trades, bless him. And down here is our washing line, which I love because there's pretty much enough space for two loads of laundry at a time out here, so it's great. That's the decking from down on the garden and up there is another part of the garden but it's on a blind spot um, and because of that we unfortunately tend to use it as a bit of a dumping ground. Neil has a shed up there with some tools and bits but it really is in need of a good tidy up. And those white doors there is actually a storage section which goes under the house almost halfway deep so it's great for stashing bits which we haven't got room for in the house itself. Now inside and we're starting in the living room. So here is our brand new sofa bed currently set up. I left it out purposely to film this so you could see what it looked like as a bed. And if you saw my last Ultimate Clean video, you'll know that we were waiting for this delivery. And it is here and we love it. And this is without the bedding on it. It's basically a corner unit, but it's a sofa bed too. It's the same size as a standard double. Although if you take the scatter cushions off, you actually have even more room. And there's quite a bit of room under there as it goes back the depth of the sofa. So we can actually fit two double duvets, a couple of sheets and two pillows, just to give you an idea. Here's a demonstration of taking the bed part out and putting it away again.
above the sofa we have these three floating shelves with pictures of the kids, including Amelia's recent nursery graduation photos. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. And here I'm just showing you the surround sound speakers we actually have in the ceiling. We have four in the living room, one in each corner. Great for watching scary movies, for me anyway. Excuse the dangly flypaper on two of those, by the way. And there's our TV unit with our DVD player and the printer down the bottom and just a handful of DVDs there. So you can't hurt me like you did before. And this is the kids' toy cupboard. Most of the toys are in Amelia's room, but we do let them keep some in here. It's a bit of a jumble in there right now and actually needs a good tidy up, as you can see. So that is pretty much the living room. I just want to show you as well a view of the surrounding countryside that we look out onto and the view of the decking outside. It really is an amazing view and it's even more amazing when it snows. So now moving into the kitchen, it's all open plan as you can see, so this is the view from the living room and these are second hand kitchen units which Neil fitted in himself. It will come back to you. I don't care about you anymore. First on the left is the larder. This used to be a recess with a thick ledge in the middle and that was where my dad lived here because this was his place before we had it and it had his washing machine underneath and then the fridge on the ledge. So we just decided to turn it into extra storage and have it as a larder as we have no wall units and space was a bit limited. And it works brilliantly. There are six shelves and the floor space at the bottom. Some more of Neil's handiwork. And next to that is the boiler cupboard where we also keep the vacuum, the steam mop, the ironing board and a couple of other bits and the bins. So over on the other side we have the dish and mug display unit and a very bright red microwave. Neil bought this from his place when he moved in. And there are a couple of cupboards and a drawer underneath where we keep things. And there's the fridge and the freezer. Then we have a small cupboard and a drawer to the right of our cooker, oven and grill and then three more drawers. The top one is for cutlery, the middle one is for tea towels and the tablecloth and hand towels and the bottom drawer is for odds and ends. I'd say that was pretty standard for most kitchens. Most people have at least one of those drawers and at the top is our extractor hood as well. And in the corner is a shelf of our tea, coffee and sugar, some artificial sunflowers and our date block. And then our fruit bowl is below that and a mirror which I used to do my makeup in the kitchen because it's better light. And above the sinks we have our utensils rack. And below that we have our double sink and our drainer. And the tap is a really cool tap. It has a pull out nozzle that you can use to spray the sinks and rinse them round which is really, really handy after washing up. And no, for those wondering, we do not have a dishwasher. And these splashbacks are actually vinyl. They're not real bricks, they're just a brick effect. And under the sinks, we have the standard cleaning products. I need to put another safety catch on the left one because I accidentally snapped it the other day, but the right one has one on and we will get around to that as soon as possible. And behind the kitchen door we have a few little hooks with the letters and a dress book and birthday book, a fire extinguisher just in case of emergencies and our home hub which has our internet connection and our landline. And here I'm just showing the other two surround sound speakers that we have in the kitchen. So you may have seen this fold-up table in previous videos but it's just a fold-up bench and table with four seats on it and it's really convenient especially when you push for space. 
and the flooring here is actually lino, they're not real tiles. And here is our very narrow hallway leading to the bedrooms, the bathroom and the utility. So going into the bathroom, it's not huge, but it's a decent enough size. It has a sink, the toilet, the bath, and an overbath shower, which is electric. And yes, Neil fitted all this too. I, I found a star, I found a star in you. Always guiding me to where my words are true. And because the rubber has started to come off of this bath mat and bits are coming off of it, we have another one on order. Yay, finally. And this shower caddy in the corner is just for storing all of our toiletries and shampoos and body washes and things. And the blue bucket you can see is for the kids' bath toys. Behind the door is our heated towel rail and our little hand towel holder. And there is a mirror as well, which is on hinges and it just moves backwards and forwards. Then next to that is this very tall, thin unit which has got pretty much all of my stuff on it actually um, and a few kids stuff down the bottom but yeah it comes in handy, it's extra storage space, I do need to actually sort it out and get rid of some stuff at some point very soon. <laughs> And here we go into Zach's little box room and he only comes in here to sleep really as all the toys are either in Amelia's room or in the living room. He has the giant postman pat and Jess the cat sticker on the wall and a very slim wardrobe with a couple of shelves for his clothes and a couple of rails for hanging space and at the minute that's all he needs and Neil actually made this from scratch as well and it's basically just some MDF fixed together. We probably will get around to painting it at some point it is on the to-do list the same with the doors up under his bed but you'll see those in a moment and this little clock here has got lots of pictures of family members in it and Amelia did actually get this as a present when she was first born but we just decided to keep it in here when Amelia moved into the bigger bedroom and Zachy moved in here. And Zach actually has a cabin bed which was open at the sides and Neil made some doors for it so that's what you can see here and these are the other doors that we need to paint. We use that storage for bits and bobs but mainly for our bedding and towels. Now into Amelia's room and this is the one that used to be ours but we are hoping at some point in the future to get an extension built about the same size of this room so that we can have this room back and Amelia will move into the new bedroom but it's nice that the kids have a room each and like I said it means that we don't have loads of toys in the living room. So there's a TV on the wall which we left in here from when it was our room. There are three small sets of drawers for our clothes and we have our double wardrobe still in here too. It's a little bit mismatched but it will do for now and if we do get our own room Amelia will go into the new room and we'll move back in here so this stuff will stay. And although this is a freestanding wardrobe Neil actually made it so that it looks like it's joined to the ceiling as in a built-in wardrobe. And over this side of the room is Amelia's wardrobe, her toy unit and her bedside drawers. And this room is a lovely girly pink but will need to be painted very soon again because the kids have come in and scribbled all over the walls with coloured pencils. And there's Amelia's Peppa Pig stickers. And also above her bed are these three canvas prints, including one of when me and Neil got married and she was our bridesmaid. These are from when she was very little. Why don't you stay?
and under her bed there is a pull-out drawer which used to be under her cot when she had the little box room and it has hers and Zach's bedding and towels in it and a few bits for her school uniform. And lastly is the utility room and front entrance by the front door. We have a shoe unit and our coat hooks and there's another little metal shoe rack on the floor in the corner for my boots mainly and a couple of pairs of wellies. There's also the box of laundry products and the washing bin and of course the washing machine and tumble dryer in this recess. There did used to be a wall here, but Neil took it out and constructed a recess which goes outside and it actually stands on wooden posts, similar to how he made the raised decking. This way it frees up space in here, but we can still have these large appliances, which would otherwise have took up a lot of space, making it very cramped. I know if you have to learn and here's what it looks like from the outside. So that is it for our home tour video. As I say, if you have any questions about anything, then please list them uh, below in the comments section. Please feel free to ask and I'll find out um, if I can and get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to keep up with our videos, make sure you tap the little bell so that you have notifications when we post every week. We do an upload every Sunday. And I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Now